स्टार्ट हाय एवरीवन टुडे सी एस आई कैंडिडेट इट्स इट्स नेट जी आई एग्जाम सो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट डिस्कशन ओवर द क्वेश्चन आस्क इन मैथमेटिकल साइंसेस सी द क्वेश्चन सीन दिस टाइम इज समथिंग रिपीटेटिव बट स्टिल देयर आर लॉट्स ऑफ सिली मिस्टेक्स सो वी आर सेलेक्टिंग दोस क्वेश्चंस रैंडमली पिक बट देयर आर सर्टेन इश्यूज पीपल आर गेटिंग मिस्टेक्स ओवर सर्टेन ऑप्शंस दिस क्वेश्चन व्हिच आई हैव सेलेक्टेड हियर हैज दैट सिली पॉइंट्स where people generally can make mistake let's see that this is question the question says it is question number 19 set a question number 18 and set b and question number 86 in set c the question talks about i just am reading the question first let f is anarchic in c then f is constant if the zero set of f contains the sequence and these are the four options a n 1 by n first option second a n minus 1 upon n 1 upon n it is given up for this minus 1 upon n minus 1 1 upon n third option a equal to 1 upon 2n and a equal to n when 4 doesn't divide n and 1 upon n in 4 divides n now the the essence of this question is identity theorem it's very popular theorem in complex mathematics identity theorem which says if a function entire function is zero on a set which has limit point in c then the function is identically zero so this question talks about if any of the sequence f is zero can we claim function is constant so what remains to find out whether these sequences has limit point or not if you can claim these sequences has limit point in c that they are either they are convergent or they have converted sub sequence since function is zero on these sequences implies it is zero on its sub sequences as well so if we can find any sub sequence which is convergent we can easily claim function is identically zero and hence constant here the options we can see easily all the options first option say this is one by n and it tends to zero very simple sequence so it has limit point zero and function is vanishing on this set has identity zero has constant so first option is correct second again minus one power n minus one one by n this also tends to zero so converting and hence zero limit point function is identically zero again and hence constant and so my third is nothing but a n equal to 1 upon 2 and that too we know is zero sub sequence of 1 upon n we can think in this way also and if c is true then i am talking to students they were stuck at this point this fourth option which is also correct this fourth option this sequence is not convergent but still it has that fourth option it has 4k which is 1 upon k 1 upon 4k in fact given a n equal to 1 upon n when n divide 4 divides n so if instead of n i put 4k this is n here 4 divides so it will be 1 upon 4k as this is a sub sequence Converting to zero. So in this fourth option also, if f is zero on this sequence, it has a subsequence which is converted zero. That its function is zero on this sequence has it has to be identically zero and has constant. So for this example, all the four options are correct. The key one was this. Every year they ask question over identity theorem. Invariably they are asking questions over identity theorem, where we just need to find. the function is zero on a set whether it has to be point or not thank you